Hello everybody, welcome back to Richmond. Now you see in front of you a rather long and thin narrow box and contained within this box you shall see, I'm going to take the top off carefully, some bubble wrap, just move this uh, box lid out of the way just for a minute and inside here is something very special. Uh, Finally, after over a year of waiting, my scratch builder has come through with my good shed. So it's in pieces in the box now. He's advised me to be careful slotting it together, and careful I will be. So let's get out of the box and uh, we'll see it on the layout. So here we are with it on the layout. Let's just move these big bottles of glue out of the way. So. It's in bits at the minute. I've been advised to carefully put it all together. So we'll do that in a few minutes. Now, it is in several pieces. And if you just, if you remember from the previous video, let's just move this piece of it out of the way. There is a template for the good shed already on the layout. So we'd marked out roughly where the good shed was going to go. And uh, we've not marked it out, we've just put, put the paper on the layout. So there is some work to do just to prepare the baseboards for the good shed. So we need to raise or lower the, the cork and make an outline and, and dig it out so the structure will sit on properly. Now I must stress at this moment that I've not actually seen the good shed out of the box. Um, my scratch builder, I've literally just met him at Derby Railway Station about 45 minutes ago. Um, paid him for it, put it in the car and come straight back. He did say that this platform um, may not um, match the track and he wasn't wrong but he did say he was also going to send me uh, a PDF or some kind of file with um, the platform brick paper on so that I can make the, brick, the, the platform to suit. So we'll just leave that to one side for now. So here we have the first part of the shed. So we'll just show you without the roof on there's the the doors everything nothing opens it's it's all you know functional but it doesn't open so around here we have some eastern region uh northeastern region sign steam engines not to pass this point and then just on the side here as on the real richmond there is another sign which says care to be exercised with corridor stock beyond this point so that's that sign just there he did say just be careful because it's quite fragile. Now that sign was on the real Richmond. If you look at photos in Ken Hall's book or photos on the disused stations website, you'll see that sign. Whether it's legible or not on the, on the internet is a different story. And it's certainly not legible in Ken Hall's book. Um, but there is a caption that says what it, what it reads. And you'll see the, uh, the loading dock there is made out of, I do believe that's wood. It's either wood or card. Either way, it's superbly detailed. I'm very, very happy with this. So what we're going to do is we're just going to place this on the layout in approximate position like that. So that fits wonderfully. Now, let's just get this next piece and we'll take the roof off that. So this should, I believe, sit now this is going to be the tricky bit because i can't remember which way around this goes i'm pretty sure that it sits with that there i believe it goes there there is this platform here that sits in just there like that and i do believe that should yes that should slot in just here this angle and then this little porch slots in just there like that and then this end building just I even made some lead flashing for it which is outstanding and this bit of roof comes off as well so uh, that is excellent it's a marvelous job of this I'm so happy with this and then we'll, uh, 
there's a roof slot on that way well it did give me some instructions as to how to build it lovely I believe that's the way it goes on and then that should just slot on there like that and then this roof will slot on beautiful that if we just zoom into it just to show you and there we go that is an absolutely beautiful building now this platform sadly um, is wrong ah right okay that doesn't sit down there like that so let's just move that out of the way and neither does that so I made a first mistake so we need the platform which sort of locates it all together like that and then this porch bit sits in <laughs> just there I believe yep and then this end office building will sit literally just like that that is absolutely magnificent just need to fettle the roof a bit just to get to sit right that is fantastic I'm so happy with that the only thing obviously I'm not particularly pleased about is the uh, loading platform which I may have to alter the track to suit or I may just let him know that it doesn't work like that and we'll build another platform but that's it that's a good shit in position roughly it may need to be brought sort of this way a little bit just so we can make another platform and I'll wait for the send me the PDF file and then we can alter the platform to suit but that's the good shed and I'm very very happy with that let's just move the camera back up so you can see and we'll show you in a second the good shed from a different angle so there it is from a different angle from the country end of the station and that looks absolutely amazing I'm really really pleased with that it's really captured the look of the original good shed building which sadly is no longer extant it's gone as you may remember from my field trip video from a few weeks ago but yeah I'm very very pleased with that and I'm just gonna have to try and alter the platform and probably the, the just the location of the good shed a little bit just to get it sort of just right I didn't think there'd be much room for loading and unloading there and I was right but there are compromises to be made so we'll make a little bit of an alteration to the platform there now moving on if we just move around this way a bit you can see we've done some more work so you remember the last video we put the line side fence in here and now we've made a start on static grass now we didn't video it uh, you've seen static grass been put down a million times everybody does it but we bought some static grass we bought I'll show you the stuff we've got so we've got this stuff which is the Woodland Scenics static grass the medium green and then we also had some sort of summery green from Gage Master which is the knock stuff and we've also got a static grass applicator which I'll show you it's only a cheapo Amazon special which was 20 pounds it did come with a bag of static grass but it's a really really funny color green so I've not used it and we put it on with this stuff this is the uh, wooden scenic scenic cement we also have some more static grass on the way from WWS and it's War World Scenics and we've got some layering spray coming from then and some six mil static grass I do believe some other stuff as well J just to give the grass a little bit of texture so we just move those back out of the way just give it a little bit of texture uh, I don't know if I showed you before we've also put some bushes sort of around the side and around the back of the signal box there just to hide the uh, where we cut out the, the grass point rodding is also extending a little bit we've put a few more rods in it's never going to look perfect this stuff but it's it's looking all right it does the job and then just at the top of the hill there we've mocked up the ruins of St Martin's Priory it's just a mock-up like I say I've asked my scratch builder to have a go at doing a bit more justice than I can 
So all I did last night, I just made a little mock-up out of card of approximate sort of dimensions and sort of shape and size. I'm not a scratch builder, really. I'm a modern skills making card buildings from scratch. Not great, but there you go. That's a mock-up of St. Martin's Priory. And things are starting to move apace now. But moving back to the good shed there. Just move the camera around a bit. There we go. So that's it in its relatively final position. We'll just need to doctor this uh, ramp uh, platform, loading platform rather, sorry, um, which will extend a bit further down. And then now it's in, we can we can plan the good shed, uh, sorry, the good yard properly. That's one of the final pieces of the layout to be fixed down. We've got the siding that's just at the back of, that goes through the good shed and out around the front of the station. That just needs finishing. And I think you'll agree that that makes a lovely addition to the layout. Yes, it, it all looks slightly different to the real Richmond. Uh, the engine shed and the uh, gas works there, they're in the wrong position really. They should be a bit further this way. And the turntable is too big, but that's a necessary compromise if I want to turn longer locos around. It all matches. And it all matches the original station buildings as well. The stone isn't too different in colour. Um, the guy who scratch built the original station buildings back in the 70s has done a marvellous job. And I think I've done a decent job of restoring the roof. And now the station, yeah, it looks really good. I'm really happy with that. And I hope you've enjoyed unboxing the good shed. There's still some work to be done. So hopefully we'll get it done in the coming days. Bye for now.